Hi, this is Dan. Today we'll be covering why can't I log on to my host? Most typical reasons why you are having a problem. Now, first of all, let me tell you that every example here I'm listing, I will show you, I will demonstrate each one. But first, let me go through them. You could be at the wrong site, and the site means the URL, the address for the site could be incorrect. First of all, don't type www. That is always wrong. Uh, second is verify your community name is on the logon screen. The logon screen is the screen where you enter your username and you enter your password. That screen should have your community name. And use the hot link in the email you received and you will never have a problem. It will go, go right to your community site. Again, that's the hot link in the email that has your username and your password that it has been sent to you. Number two is uh, another problem is not entering the credentials correctly. For instance, misreading or mistyping them. Misreading them, seeing a five and thinking it's, a, it's an S, obviously that's going to be a problem. Mistyping them, if your password has an uppercase A, do not type a lowercase A. It must be exact. The, uh, for security, the, user, the password must always be exactly entered exactly as it is sent. And B is copy and a paste problem. We recommend copying and pasting for passwords. It uh, gives you the assurity that whatever you are sent, you are using. However, there's a couple of, of problems that you could occur, and I will demonstrate those. And last is not using the latest credentials. No matter where you are, what site, perhaps your bank, and you, you have forgotten your username or forgotten your password, so you hit the option that says provide me a new username or a new password, give me help logging on. The first thing the software does before it gives you a new username and a new password is it invalidates all previous ones. So you must be using your latest credentials. If you receive you know, two emails with username and passwords, only the last, the latest one, will work. So I'm suggesting that when you get to this point, if you're struggling, ask for a new set of credentials. Ask for a new username and a new password. All right, now let's demonstrate what these things look like. First of all, here's a kind of a scary screen. Your connection is not private. I'm trying to get to my community site. And I know from my leadership that it's P hyphen place, because my community is presidential place. I look here at the top where the URL sits, and I see there's a www. And as I said from the beginning, if you see www in the URL or the address, it will not work. Now let's say I go ahead and force my way through this. I hit advance and said continue on. I want to go to P hyphen place. Again, I'm not going to get there. That www is never going to allow me to get there. Now let's assume that I enter a address that is valid. And it looks good. It says host. It says there's a logon button here. I select that and I get to a logon screen. A logon screen is where you have a spot for a username and a spot for a password. This is not going to work because my community name is not on this screen. The logon screen, username and your password must have your community name. I go up here to my URL and I can see what the problem is. Again, I've got www up there and I no longer have my unique site, which was p hyphen place. If I typed it correctly there, I will get the same logon screen, but this time with my community name, presidential place here. Now I'm gonna go to my email and look at my invitation and here it is here now here i have my password that was given from my host it says 5 e b m 7 9 so not entering the credentials correctly that would be if i saw that five and i thought that was an s obviously that's not going to work it's also mistyping it and mistyping it includes where you see a uppercase E, if I type a lowercase E, it is not going to work. 
the password is five, uppercase E, uppercase B, uppercase M, seven, nine. So again, mistyping it as lowercase, misreading it, these are problems that is gonna keep the logon from succeeding. Now, let me talk about cut and paste. For those of you who don't know, cutting is a matter of putting the cursor where you want to begin the cutting and take your mouse and scroll. In this case, I'm scrolling, pushing my mouse to the left. And I stop there. And now that has been identified, I can hit the right mouse button and copy it. And I have that now in memory. Now the problem with this is I've missed the nine. So what I have copied is not gonna work as an entered password. That's sort of obvious, but let me show you something that's not quite so obvious. Put the cursor here, left mouse to the button down, drag to the left, and now right mouse button and copy. And that also is not going to work because I've added a space to the left of the five. Maybe hard for you to see there, but there is a space that has been copied to the left of the five. So I have space 5EBM79, and that also won't work. So I need to make sure you know, if I'm going to do a cut, I'm going to copy that. It has to be the password and only the password. Now it's James Madison and that password. So go back up here to my screen. James Madison. Right mouse button to paste the password that I copied. Hit log on and it still doesn't work. And now we're into our third problem. Our third problem is I have received a number of usernames and passwords here. And only the, the latest one is going to work. And I may not know what the latest one is. I may be confused. Easiest way to solve the problem is to ask for a new one, a new set. To do that, I click here on the logon screen that has my community name and only the logon screen that has my community name. Hit the here button, fill out information that is hopefully going to match what is in my host. And my host was loaded from data provided by your leadership. Sign and submit. And if that matches, and it did, it says your username and new password have been emailed to you. This now surely is the latest one. No matter how many I got before, they are now all invalid. And only the one I have now, this latest one, is valid. So I click on that. And there is my username and password. It came in. Let's see how we say it. it came in just zero minutes ago. This is the latest one, no question. Now again, that last letter here, is that a one, an L, or an I? You know what, I don't care because whatever it is, I am going to copy it. So I don't care what it is. I've got it now, James Madison. Now going to the exact site for my community, easiest way, don't type anything in, just hit the hot link, left mouse button, log on, and I'm at the right site. So again, it was James Madison, and I'm going to do my left mouse button so that I can paste what's in memory, and then log on, and I'm in.